Let me ask you a question. Would you rather a game developer lie about their product? Because that's what it looks like to me. So there's this game coming out for the Wii U, called Devil's Third. The initial reactions to the game were odd, to say the least. For people like myself, the gameplay looked interesting and fun. But to others, they just started complaining about the graphics. Some were going as far as to say, as it looks like a PS2 game. And even though that's an exaggeration, it does raise a problem. I mean, there's a year before this game even comes out, and people are attacking the game even though it's not finished. So I ask you again, would you rather they lie about it? Now, I know you've seen some recent examples. A little game called Watch Dogs. I mean, the E3 trailer when it was revealed looked amazing and impressive, but when it came out, it looked nothing like the trailer. It was scaled down. It still looks good, but it's not nearly as good as what this trailer was. Or do you want a repeat of Aliens Colonial Marines, where the gameplay trailers didn't even represent real gameplay? They weren't even trying. And then you get this game where they're just showing the real game and people attack it. And I don't get this. It's coming to the point where game devs are going to have to lie to sell their games. This game is made by the same guy who makes Ninja Gaiden, or made Ninja Gaiden, the series, and Dead or Alive. And I enjoy both games, and it's not for the jiggle physics. I know, Dead or Alive, hard to believe, but it's really not for the jiggle physics. <laughs> it's because of the rock-solid gameplay. And in the end, both games don't need to lie about what they are. And this guy's a legendary game developer. But you're judging the game before it even comes out? You're judging the graphics before they have time to polish it? Is this really how you want everyone to act? Do you want them to lie? Honestly, you should be ashamed if you judge a game on graphics. I certainly did when I wrote off Minecraft. Originally, I thought the game looked pretty bad, and that I wasn't going to play it because it looked bad. And when I finally played it, it had, I had so much fun, I just couldn't believe that a game like this was written off by me. You can thank GamerGuts for that, by the way. She was the one who got me into Minecraft. But back on to this question. Should they lie? Would you buy it if they lied? People praised Watch Dogs, saying, amazing what next-gen hardware can do. But when it came out they said this looks like crap they cried about it people praised alien colonial marines when it was revealed saying this is amazing this is what next gen hardware can do and when it came out they cried about it now this game is being honest it's showing you exactly what you're getting and people are crying about it it's as if they have to lie to get you to pre-order the game. I'm looking at this game and I see, okay, it's an action shooter. He literally just threw a samurai sword into somebody else's neck and then sliced him in half, then picked out a gun and shot the next guy. That looks cool, crazy, and frantic. I'm into that. I like action games. This is not a generic game, yet people are crying about the graphics. Really? Is that all you people care about? <sighs> so, I want you to think. Do you really want every game developer to lie about their games? And if you answered yes, you should really reconsider what you do as a gamer. As always, this is just food for thought. And thanks for watching. You can click the subscribe button if you like this. You can go down in the comment section and voice your opinion. You may have been burned on the Watch Dogs or Aliens deal. And I'm sure there are several other games that did this.
and you can talk about it here in the comment section. You can also click the pie in order to go back to our channel to see our other videos. Again, thanks for watching. Wolfie, out.